Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the new mission equipped Izzy Hawthorne figure. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Back again, super excited for another Ranger Alpha suit character upgrade. Izzy Hawthorne with helmet as well. We got missiles, we got a laser blade. We have everything that we need for Izzy Hawthorne to join the rest of the crew on their adventures. So this is really cool. I found this one in store in Target. So hopefully you'll be able to find it in Target, but it's a really great looking figure. Back of the packaging is very similar to what we got for Buzz for his mission equipped figure. But you can see how you can load and blast those missiles. We have the laser blade and Izzy Hawthorne and the awesome Ranger Alpha suit and some other figures that you can collect, which we have. Really great packaging, and I love the prototype photo of Izzy Hawthorne here. Wow, Izzy Hawthorne looking awesome in the Ranger Alpha suit. Really love this. It's giving me Mission Equip Buzz vibes, definitely with the wider leg stance, which is going to probably be different if we get a single carded figure of her, because what happens is because of that gimmick, when you squeeze the legs, it might be more straight legged, but we'll see in the future. We don't know yet, but really great figure. I think they did great. I love that they're putting the Space Ranger logo here on the arm for these Ranger Alpha suits because it makes it feel a little more authentic. We got the matching paint on the bottom towards the shoes, which I always appreciate those details. We don't have anything else too fancy back here, and we are missing the name. I wish it would have said Hawthorne on the chest plate there. Would have been way better, but I'm not complaining. We have her in a Ranger Alpha suit. Izzy Hawthorne's head could go side to side slightly. There is a slight up and down not too dramatic but you do have a little bit of side to side articulation the arms do come out just like the other figures there is an elbow bend there and 360 at the wrist which is nice and then this one also the same even though this arm has an action gimmick it does have an elbow joint and when you squeeze the legs on izzy here you have this up and down kind of motion, which is different than the Buzz Lightyear mission equipped. His waist also went side to side, but this one just kind of goes up and down, probably for the laser blade. <laughs> so that's cool. Here's Izzy Hawthorne with the laser blade with some <laughs> dicing action. What is she doing? Is she slicing bugs, plants, or tomatoes in the kitchen? We don't really know, but it's very cool. I do like it a lot. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Articulation is awesome on the knee. We have a bend on both, which is great. And we do have a forward and we do have a back as far as that goes, you know, not too crazy articulation, but we have something and it doesn't affect that gimmick, which is pretty good. I do like that. This figure also has peg holes on the bottom of the feet and Izzy comes with the helmet, which I always love. Here's Izzy Hawthorne with the helmet on, looks really good. I do prefer these with the helmets on because if you're doing Ranger Alpha suit, why not? I think it looks really great and it's one of my favorite things about this figure besides the suit. You get the helmet that comes with the figure, which looks super awesome. If you ask me, I think it looks great. Now I understand why Izzy has to have a wide stance because in order to carry this giant missile carrier launcher thing, you're going to need some stability and support. Otherwise, Izzy wouldn't be able to stand. So the wide legs really account for that, uh, for this feature to hold this giant missile launcher. So I'm just glad it works and you're able to pose Izzy this way without any issues. She can stand and not have a problem, even though this thing is completely massive with some posing that could be accomplished. You have to bring this arm far back in order to accommodate that. But, you know, you can just kind of take your time posing Izzy and it definitely works. Here's a button on the side and it actually shoots both missiles out at the same time. So if you wanted to just fire a single one, not two at a time, you just need to load one and there you go. It fires really well and yeah, it probably flies really far. So yeah, this is a great job by Mattel. I'm blown away by this figure for five inch scale. It's one of the best Izzy Hawthorne figures ever made in my opinion. Good news is that the laser blade does holster in the back of Izzy like we see in the film. So they finally listen to fans. I feel like because that is cool and although it's not really I would adjust the hole up here because in the movie it's closer to maybe this the way we see it on film 
but it's still cool that we still have it holstered in the back so you can have Izzy with the blade. I'm glad they did that because it's sure to the film and the movie and I think that is really, really cool. All I can say is, oh wow, this is a huge difference in the face sculpt between what we got for Ranger Alpha, the new one, and what we got for the original release. They just, wow, it's a miles difference and I think they did better for Izzy's face sculpting and hair sculpting on this new figure. It just looks more like the movie and wow, that is a huge difference. Overall, just even the cheeks and the nose and the lips, the way they were painted and sculpted, and even the eyebrows, it's a brand new redesign by Mattel. And I'm glad that they're not just taking the old head sculpt and putting it on the new body. I, I really like that they're doing new designs and they look a lot more modern and more true to the movie in my opinion. This is the Ranger Alpha class Izzy Hawthorne seven inch figure. You can see the details of the chest with the Hawthorne on it. I wish we would have gotten here or on this one, but we did not. The head sculpt overall is really great on the Alpha class. I do enjoy it. I wish we could have gotten it a little translated here, but it is definitely better. I think this one's the worst one just because the eyes are too, the pupils are too small and the eyes are like too wide eyed. In my opinion, these look more like natural expressions, but let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the differences of the head sculpts between these three figures. Here's the side profiles of all three figures, and here are the back profiles of all three figures. Here's the front of all three figures, and you can just tell how big Alpha Class is. But my personal favorite right now is this 5 inch Ranger Alpha suit, Izzy. I think she's the best one yet. Here we have a family reunion. We have the grandmother of Izzy Hawthorne. We have Alicia Hawthorne right here, and you can just see, you know, they didn't go on missions together because. There were different generations, and unfortunately, they didn't get to do that uh, like Buzz did. But it's cool to see them in action figure form and have them together. Grandma with granddaughter. We have Alicia and Izzy. And one has the purple head covering. One just has the hair sculpt in the helmet. But it's really cool. It's really neat to see that Mattel gave us new sculpts and slightly tweaked colors and things like that and of course redesigned head sculpts and we didn't just get the same thing over and over again we got variances and so that's really cool to see here as evidenced by the ranger alpha suits you can tell there are some slight differences in the paint and the scaling of things as you know we know the grandmother is taller than izzy here as you can see that alicia is taller than izzy hawthorne when you squeeze buzz's legs you can see that his waist is turning as he's punching upwards you can see that motion it's like a sweeping motion and with izzy hawthorne we don't have that twisting of the waist it's just an arm going up and down but i just thought that was really interesting and it's cool to see mission equipped buzz which is my favorite five inch scale right now light ear toy and this one as well with izzy hawthorne you can still technically holster the blades on the back of them so that is really cool and i love this a lot i think they look really great together then looks more true to the film. Wow, they look so cool together. We have Darby and Ranger Alpha, Izzy and Ranger Alpha, and Mission Equipped Buzz, of course, with socks for fun. But I really love these figures together. I did get Mo Morris in, and that will be the next review coming soon to complete the Ranger Alpha suit set, and I'm really excited about it. For fun, we have the 10-inch Mattel Zerg here with the smaller scale Zyklops. We have Izzy Hawthorne and Buzz Lightyear Mission Equipped. I think they look really great together, and the scaling is pretty awesome. And for fun, here we have the Ranger Alpha Suit crew in front of the Armadillo ship, which looks so cool. The next one we're going to need is Mo Morrison, and it'll be awesome to see that. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham! Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.